¡Los! Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. And today's example is by Corgi. It is the Aviation Archive here. It's a special Strike East to June 41 to May 45 editions. It is a Heinkel HE 111. So what we'll do is uh, we'll have a look at this bad boy and get it out of the box. Like so. Comes in the standard uh, Corgi deal. Does have a collector's card that does have a, it does have a limited run of 1,200 of these manufactured. So if that's your thing, and what we'll do is we'll get it out of the box and have a real good look at get this slid off. And there is the beast right there. I mean, it does look really nice in in the box there. That camouflage scheme does look really really cool. It does come with your standard uh, corgi stand that top is metal bottom is plastic though and uh, it does come with the standard baggie with the uh, little um, main landing gear uh, modules that go under the engine nacelles so what we'll do is we will get this bad boy out really gently <laughs> and without breaking it hopefully so the, these were um, bombers obviously used by the Luftwaffe um, during World War II, they sort of chose the medium, um, medium type bomber line to go through. Um, they, these were originally designed as a uh, airliner in uh, in the thirties. Um, these were built for nineteen thirty five to nineteen forty four, with around six thousand five hundred of the, and eight of these built in all variants. Um, and this bad boy, as you can see, is a really nice rendition. We'll have a little good close look at those details there. This sent me back at around $200, so they are quite expensive. Um, we all know, you know, Corgi, you do pay a little bit more for these. But uh, overall, the uh, quality uh, naturally uh, of these are they're very good. They do have all the little figures. There is a gunner figure in there. There is pilot figures in there. And um, the... Uh, the overall build quality of these will flip her over on its back and have a look underneath and um, as you can see here the uh, the awesome detail under here the bay doors do open um, to reveal the bomb load as well so you can open those bay doors and have them to expose the bomb loads wheels main landing gear go in here what we'll do is we'll chuck those on right now that'll be a straightforward process and as you can see here, the wheels do spin nicely, tail wheel in, modules are in there. So you do, if you want it wheels up, you just have those two modules that go under the nails, engine nail cells there and the rear in-flight tail wheel. Um, I think overall it's quite a decent decent rendition of a Heinkel. Um, I think it's, you know, pretty pretty nice. I think uh, the, the colorization and everything I think is quite good. So what we'll do is... We'll have a good good look at it all, nice and completed. I think, look, to be honest, I think uh, it is a very good rendition. I, I like it, but it is obviously a, a tad expensive. It has all the gun ports and everything like that so in the nose and everything. Um, the propellers do spin and everything like that. It does come with this stand. It's a special sort of stand because you've got that gun point in here so it's got an extra long piece on there so you could actually avoid damaging that gun point when you do have it on the stand because the last thing you want to do is damage this bad boy because it is reasonably priced um i think overall the quality of this is fantastic um as i said it was around 220 for me that was with the postage and everything um brand new out of the box and um I think it's, what was it, a 1200 limited run worldwide. Um, I, I think it's a pretty good rendition of the, the German medium bomber. Uh, they didn't really go for the four engine bombers. These were pretty pretty ob ob obsolete by the 1944 sort of deal and the German bombing offensive was pretty much over anyway by then. They were concentrating their builds on fighters and the defence of the Reich because they were copping their return serve by the Allied heavy bombers. So... <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, 
All right, I'll leave it at that. I'll try and keep it short and sweet for you. So once again, this is the uh, Aviation Archive. They are a limited run of 1200. It is the Heinkel HE 111 by Corgi. And um, yeah, 170 second scale, full die cast. I think, it, yeah, it's a pretty good unit. It's pretty pretty tough. And uh, I think the overall finish quality of this is um, pretty cool. I like it. It does have all the correct markings. And overall, it's a really good representation of the aircraft. And um, a really uh, different sort of colour scheme. It's got that little bit of snow camo on there for um, over on the eastern front. Um, but yeah. All right, so you know the deal. I'll take some uh, photos of this bad boy without the sausage fingers being in the way, and uh, you can check it out in all its glory. And, um, yeah, if you can, you know, give us a like if you found this informative enough, and uh, even subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with uh, future videos we'll chuck out. All right, guys, I will uh, sign off now, and thank you very much for uh, spending your time with me once again, and have a great rest of your day. All right, guys, cheers.